All right, so I'm gonna do a quick review of this Nas King's Disease album. Number one, this shit was a classic. Is let me say is a classic all the way through. I didn't skip a song. For one, there's only 13 of them. I mean, relax. You can listen to 13 songs. Two. Everything, the style of Nas, it was like, it was like a refreshed Nas. It was, and, and I like the fact that it was aggressive. Like, I like bars that hit hard or the said hard and, and all of that pause. But it's like, yo, the lyricism was there. The poetry was there. Uh, the deepness and the lyricism was there. It, it was like. Not this, I wouldn't say the same Nas, but it was like an old Nas met the new Nas and he shook his hand and was like, all right, you could take over now. Because this shit was hard, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I, I've, well, for one, I've always been a Nas fan. Um, two, it's, it's nice to see when the legends, God tier, elites, and all of them, it's nice to see they still can do this shit. A lot of people may complain that, you know, oh, he picked weird beats or they don't like when um, older rappers or more established legends do too many popularized sounds or popular be with popularized artists of the today's or whatever. And to me, it don't I don't mind that as long as it it meshes well, like the song he did with Lil Dirt. Uh, ASAP Ferd and um, Don Don Tolliver and it, to me those those sounds it fit well with Nas. What people not understanding is like, yo, Nas is a as a spitter man. He can rap, so he's going to sound good regardless. If we're judging his bars or whatever, he's going to sound good. And I think that he gets skipped over a lot because over the years it's been mostly about his beats and that's what's maybe taken away from what they were hearing but i'm a fan of bars i don't really care too much ever about the beat that's just me i i don't mind when the beat is well because it, it does add more to the song it does sonically but um if you're just listening to words it, it depends on what you're more of a fan of when it comes to uh listening to rap and I, I'm specifying rap music. Like, um, rap music is based on mostly words, the poetry. And for one, one thing about it is people at that level, they don't get worse over time. The Eminem, the Jay-Z's, and we're going to get to that in a little bit. Um, the Lil Wayne's, they don't get worse over time. They've all gotten better lyrically to me. I've listened and bar for bar from how they started to now is way more advanced. Nas, Jay-Z, Eminem, Lil Wayne, uh, so on and so forth. But I'm just mentioning them for a reason, because to me, they are all in like the same, almost the same realm of lyrical ability and lyrical power that they have. The aggression, you mostly hear from like M, you know, he's more of the aggressive type, battle type lyricist. And Nas is more of the uh, gangster conscious. Uh, Jay-Z is more of conscious uh, business. You could say gangster lyrics, but more business and conscious. And then you got Lil Wayne, he's just all around to me lyrical um but Nas in this album it just proved that no matter what you put in front of him he could paint the picture that needs to be painted the song he was talking about uh it's all bad the breakdown and that like it's just it's things like that that keeps you attracted to these type of legends when they come out with things and I think that we need to really pay attention to just how well they produce themselves on these things. Stop taking away from shit when you start discussing, oh, their beat or who they was featured with. Like, yo, what did they say in the song? For crying out loud, we cannot all claim to be hip hop fans and rap fans especially 
and you are not a fan of what they are rapping about or how they are rapping. Like, it's insane to me. It's insane that we discuss anything but how good the, these good rappers rap. Eminem come out with a song right now. They're going to complain if he touched on any subject political. Or they're going to complain at this. Or they ain't like that. It's like, but he's still rapping better than most of the rappers out here. Nas, Jay-Z, Lil Wayne is still rapping words better than most of the people out here. Industry, some underground. We ain't talking about the battlers because I personally don't think anybody can rap better than any battler. But that's me. And uh, man, I'm going to get into that. Now, this Jay-Z thing about them dropping at the same time. Oh, yeah, it's a fact. Bro, I looked at it. It was like he dropped and then Jay dropped. His shit went to like a million. Jay shit went to like a million views in a day or some shit. And his is still rising. And it's like, yeah, y'all niggas be dropping at the same time. But anyway, they been doing that shit for years. So y'all know. Come on. People older than me would definitely know. Like, yeah, bro. They, they've been doing this shit forever. It's a thing. It's not a, a myth or anything. It's a thing. But anyway, the shit was fire. It's 13 songs. Nas, King's Disease. Uh, Yo, check that shit out, man. That's all I got.